Home is where the heart is, so the saying goes. Home is also where most of us feel safe and insulated, both in a physical and mental sense. Because we so strongly associate home with such feelings of security, it is frightening and shocking when this revered sanctity is shattered. While statistically rare, random home invasions are a sad, if infrequent, fact of life. But for the family of Samuel Riser, the shattered complacency that follows these tragic events has been compounded by an unnerving lack of answers. The sanctity of Riser's home was violated, and to this day, authorities can't quite be certain why. What they do know is that the violation of Riser's home resulted in not only the loss of sanctuary, but the loss of Riser himself. Glasgow, West Virginia, population 905, is a small, former factory town in Kanawha County. Situated along Route 60, the Old Midland Trail, Glasgow, like many other small towns in the Mountain State, has faced its fair share of trouble. The quiet, suburban appearance of this community is undercut by the sad fact that while available jobs have been decreasing, drug use and other crimes have been increasing. In 2010, 61-year-old Samuel Riser, known to his family and friends as Dickey, lived in this rented home on the 300 block of 3rd Avenue. Like many residents in the area, Riser worked as a coal miner. Although Riser had been divorced for many years, by all accounts, he remained on very good terms with his ex-wife and children. To those who knew him, Riser was a happy person who loved music and his family. However, sometime between December 8th and December 11th, Samuel Riser disappeared, and what little evidence that has been released to the public paints a gruesome picture. Authorities have been extremely reluctant to release many details concerning this case. Utilizing a variety of news, social media, and other available resources, some of them conflicting, Mysterious West Virginia has attempted to reconstruct the events preceding Riser's disappearance. Wednesday, December 8, 2010, was reportedly a day like many others for Samuel Riser. While the exact sequence of events has never been fully clarified, what is known is that Riser went to work that day, mailed a letter, spoke to his landlord, and paid his monthly rent. According to authorities, Riser's landlord, who wishes to remain unidentified, was the last person to see him alive. Here, we must point out that many of our sources of information are contradictory even about the date on which Riser was last confirmed to have been alive. Some list the date as Wednesday, December 8th, others as Tuesday, December 7th. Whatever the exact date of the last confirmed sighting, what is known for certain is that by Saturday, December 11th, Riser's silence and absence had not gone unnoticed. On that day, Riser's landlord contacted his oldest daughter, Michelle White, with the unsettling news that Riser's employer reported to him that Riser had not come to work for three days. White and Riser's sister, Linda Barnett, became very concerned. Together, they decided to visit Riser's home and make sure he was not injured. White and Barnett observed that Riser's car was still parked in the driveway and the door to the house was locked. Upon entering the residence, Barnett and White were met with a disturbing sight. There was no sign of Riser in the house, but oddly, the television set was on. In the living room, White observed what appeared to be blood on the couch and the floor, and she also noted that the coffee table appeared to have been moved. Even more ominous, Riser's jacket, keys, wallet, and cell phone were nowhere to be found. The Glasgow Police Department was called, but jurisdiction over the case was assigned to the Kanawha County Sheriff's Department. Within two days, the Sheriff's Department officially announced that Riser was considered missing. The initial press release contained little information about the suspected crime scene, but did state that foul play was suspected. An appeal was made for the public for help. According to the Kanawha County Sheriff's Department, many leads were phoned in to them, but each of them seemed to eventually lead to a dead end. As is the case in any small town, rumors began circulating about what happened to Riser. Accusations of drug use and jealousy found their way onto the internet forums, some even going so far as to mention names. 
Despite the large number of leads in the early stages of investigation into Samuel Riser's disappearance, the case soon went cold. Very little was reported in the case until 2012. It sounded, then, as though authorities had made a breakthrough, shattering two years of almost total silence the Kanawha County Sheriff's Department announced that they had three suspects, as well as a motive, and were hopeful for arrest. By 2015, these hopes for arrest had not come, and Riser's family had made it publicly known that they have come to accept the fact that he is no longer alive. Rather than pleading for information and leads to help locate Riser, they instead made an appeal to help locate Riser's remains. As of 2017, the fate of Samuel Riser still remains unknown. Samuel Richard Riser, also known to his friends and family as Dickie, was last seen near his home at 325 3rd Avenue in Glasgow, West Virginia, on December 7th or 8th, 2010. His absence was not reported until Sunday, December 11th. At the time of his disappearance, Riser was 60 years of age, with gray or graying hair. He wore a full mustache and stood between six and six foot two inches tall and weighed 200 to 210 pounds. Riser may have been wearing a denim jacket with a gray hoodie, white tennis shoes, with designs colored blue and orange and a pair of metal rim glasses. Evidence at Riser's home strongly suggests foul play. Authorities have stated that Riser may have been struck with a blunt object at his home. It was rumored at one point that Riser's body may have been disposed of in a mine shaft However, to date, no evidence has been reported to confirm this theory. Police have stated that they have two suspects in the case. However, the names and the motives have never been reported. Police continue to urge anyone with any information on this case to come forward. For as long as the killer or killers of Samuel Riser remain at large, how can any of us truly feel safe, even at our own home? If you have any information about this case, please contact the Kanawha County Sheriff's Department at 304-357-0200.